Hi, my name is Dalen Fee. Have you subscribed to this channel? Well, let's now learn how to use Microsoft Word to design this beautiful thing. And please make sure you subscribe. Thank you and leave your comment. So this is the design we are going to make. Now let's go. First, you open Microsoft and then let's do some settings to remove the margin. Go to layout, select margin, move to custom margin, change the settings here to zero each. So you select and you enter zero. Then OK. The next thing that you want to do is to know the number of pages for your CV. If your CV is more than one page, then you go to insert and then you click on blank page meaning you are adding more pages so you must always make sure you know the number of pages before you start the next thing we want to be sure that our paper size is okay so you press ctrl plus p so ctrl and then p under printer be sure that you have print to pdf and then you go to the last but three from down one two three the paper size should be a4 if not a4 you click and then you choose a4 once this is done go back and then let's start our work so to start you press insects you choose shape and then you select whatever shape you want so i go for rectangle and then you can increase the size as you want. I want the size, the width to be 7. So I enter 7. Then the next thing to do, if you want to align it, whether to the left or to the right, you are using this key. So when I select it, if I want to move this to the left side, I click on align to left. Then your design can Take shape. The next thing that I want to do is that I want to make sure that there are no border lines to the lines or to the diagrams I draw. So you go to shape, outline, and then I am selecting no outline. I don't want any lines surrounding my diagram. The next I want to do is to manually adjust it the way I want it. You can change the color of the shape. So I go to shape fill. This time I want this color. Now, if you want other designs, you can add. I want to add some design to the corners. So I pick this symbol and then I draw. I want to adjust the shape by holding on the yellow spots I am moving it to this corner and I want to rotate to rotate we are using this so I click I move down and then observe the shape I have drawn so this is the way I want it I want to move it to the corner and I want to make sure it has the same color with this but mind you, I don't want border lines. So I go to shape outline and then no border line. Then for the change of the color, shape fill and then I pick this. Now I want to make sure I copy the same thing to the bottom of my work. So to copy any object, simply hold control key and then you drag the object you want to copy so i hold control i click on this and then i drag it it is copied now i want to send it to the bottom so let me rotate it it is selected so you come to rotate and then you move down and if you are okay with the rotation you stop so i like it this way so i click and then I am positioning it at the base 
of it now the same thing i want to copy to this side so i hold on to control and then i click and drag this now i want to change the rotation so you go to rotate and then you move down if you are okay with the rotation then you stop so i want it this way now i stop and then i drag it to this corner so i can have my work looking like this if you so wish any other design you do is a matter of choice the next i want to do is to introduce a picture to my diagram so to do that you go to insects and then you select picture on this device because I have pictures there. Now I want to go through my device where I have saved my pictures and I want to go with this picture. Now you can see that the picture is behind the rectangle. To bring it forward, you go to wrap text and then you move down, the picture will come up. And the picture is too big, so I want to resize the picture using the dots at the diagonals and then i flip upward do not crop your picture using the left and right or the top and down one else it will distort the quality of the picture now i want to put the picture in a particular shape so to do that you go to crop at the right top and then move to crop to shape and then you select whatever shape that you want your picture to be. And this time I want that picture to be in this shape. Now I want to make sure that the picture fits into the shape I have chosen. So I will go back to the same crop. This time I will select crop ratio. So aspect ratio I want one to one. You can use this to adjust the size of the shape you have chosen and then come to the shadows drag it down use the bottom arrow to adjust the size of the picture you want to use once you are okay with the size you want to use adjust the picture to the center of the shape you have chosen once you are okay now you want to remove the shadows around the picture so you go to crop this time go to the top of it and then you click on it now you can select the picture and then adjust it to where you want it to be so the picture i want to adjust it here now i want to make sure the picture is accurately in the middle of the green box so i want to select both the picture and then the green box make sure you put your finger on the shift so that you can select the two so i click and hold shift and then i am clicking the green box now the two has been selected i want to align the picture to the center of the green so to align you come to this side this is for align you click I want to align it to the center so once i click the picture has moved accurately to the center of my diagram now you decide to do any other design you can always do it so that is the first part of how to do settings now let's move on and then add some other design to our work now i want to add my name since i am writing a cv so to write my name you go to insects and then you select text box once it's open you pick the first one now you can move the text box to anywhere in the diagram anywhere by selecting this and then you move it to where you want it use the point at the edge to resize the curve 
now make sure that you write the name you want so i want to write the name and the name has been typed it looking small so i will select and then increase the font style and then the font size let me increase the size using the plus now that i am done if i click outside you see that the name is having some white background and i don't want it at the same time you see lines surrounding the name to remove both the white and then the line click on the name and then let's come to shape outline i don't want the outline so no outline and then the color at the background i want to remove so you go to shape fill and then you go to no fill now i want to change the white and um, the black font size into white so i select and then i pick white so i have the name nicely written if you decide to give the image shadows click on the image and then select picture format let's come to picture border and then move down to weight and the weight you have different size of border lines that you can select depending on how you want it so i'll go for this if you want to change the black border line still we are going to picture border and then you decide which of the colors you want to pick and i want to go for this one so i click and my border is done now that i have this there is one important feature that we should all bear in mind and that feature is what you call wrap test when you click on it there is a feature here move with test and then fix position on test if you see move with text selected it means when you are done with your work and you are going to do the printing some text will be moving around to avoid that always make sure you select fixed position on page so this picture i will select fixed position let me select the name as well and then let me go to shape format you can see wrap text you select it I am making sure that when I am doing my printing, none of the objects will move. So this is the first part of this presentation. Thank you so much. I am Darlene Fee. And make sure you watch the second part so you can have a very good CV. Thank you.